Hey, for lifers, sorry for the slight delay here. Had some technical issues. But here we are with a Saturday morning review of Ocular Max's double dealer. You can see here. He is um, in a huge box. He is a retool of the um, the source that they previously put out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start with packaging review as usual. All right, so uh, the packaging is really nice, super nice artwork. I, I forget the name of the artist for this one, um, but I really like their design. They've done a lot of the MMC boxes, um, and I wanted to uh, show that off just because it has a whole lot of detail. Hey, Mecca's Reviews, hey, ATM, um, in terms of like just the effects in the background. Usually we just get a character art, but this one is like a whole scene, which always looks really great. I'll have to look it up and, and comment on um, the artwork and the artist. Around the side here, we see it is a R51 uh, Prodator Nimbus, their mercenary. You can see him in two of his, alt mo his modes here, robot and his kind of bird mode, uh, vulture kind of mode. And on the back, you get all of the images here. Um, they actually don't show on this one the alternate, um, I think, Power Master that you see on the front here. And then on the bottom, you see all three modes. Um, Credits to Math My Creations. Obviously, they're the ones that are doing this. And they typically have... Oh, maybe not on this one. Maybe not on the box. But they usually have some credits. Um, let's go ahead and get him out of... Oops. Out of packaging here. So he does come in a, a couple layered plastic shells. Uh, he also comes with a set of instructions. Um, the instructions do seem a little odd in a couple places. Uh, nothing that should be totally uh, out of left field, but some ways that I think you can do things a little bit better. So here is the plastic card. Again, the really nice artwork here. Um, and on the back, the stats. They're not doing the comic book anymore, or at least they're not on this one. And you can see he is a heavy retool of their... Um, of, of their Desaurus. So yeah, just a couple of things. I'm gonna show the um, directions a little bit differently. They show from from robot to uh, vulture, I guess, into the tank. It makes a lot more sense. It's a lot easier to go to tank first. So we'll go with that. All right, so in the three layer compartment, you do have um, a little bit of work you have to do. Uh, you also get, like I said, the alternate Power Master or whatever, and then these two screws, just like with the source, you do have to do a little bit of assembly here, just two screws to attach these wings. You get this big missile, so that's the bottom layer. And then the top layer, we get Double Dealer himself, or Nimbus himself. So give me a second to clean up a little bit. All right. Let's see here. Oh, and I totally forgot to start a Q&A. Um, I usually do one so that we can capture all the various questions that we have. Um, I might take a quick second and turn that on. But, like I said, robot mode, a little bit of a assembly. So you'll get these two wings. The first thing you'll want to do is come to the back here. Um, you want to make sure that these pieces here that rotate, you want to have them rotated this way and open outward like this. So do the same thing here, rotate it this way and rotate it outward. Th thanks TM. And then you'll take this wing, you're going to untab it here and fold it across and this will co connect here. And then you wanna rotate this around and this is gonna go in like this. Okay, so it's a little confusing, and because the instructions are a little close up, it's kind of hard to see. So um, it took me a little while to figure out how these want to be positioned. So yeah, you have to fold them up first, and then get them in this kind of position. And then you want to push this in. You will need a small Phillips head screwdriver. Just go ahead and screw this on. Uh, there will be an official video manual. I do have to do that. Um, I'm going out of town today. So uh, one other thing that I've noticed, and not on this wing in particular, but the other wing, because this one is also on a screw, um, it can loosen up. Oh, actually, this one's moving too. So um, that is one of the annoying things about this 
figure here, uh, or at least on my copy. Same thing on the other side. Again, you want to extend and untab that here, and then rotate this around. This will clip in here as well as up here. And you want to flip this all the way around like this. And you want to tab that in backwards. See, this one's already loose. This one in particular gets really loose. So that's definitely a big annoyance for me with this figure. All right, we'll just screw that in very quickly. Tighten this one up. And then with that, we should be good to be in robot mode. And you can see he already has one kind of power master in his chest here. And you can angle the wings however you'd like. As I showed in my thumbnail, you can spread out those like that. He has the same articulation essentially as the Saurus in terms of the ankle tilts, and we'll show all that off in a bit. And then you have this other Power Master here. So to transform this guy, you just literally just unfurl the wings. That's the only part of the transformation you have. Yeah, the wings do still look nice. And I do like some of the details. We'll, we'll go over that in a second. But yeah, that's how you transform him. Or you can fold up the wings like that. He's got a little metallic red eyes and metallic teeth. I'm, I'm always surprised how much little detail that they can get in here. Like the lines that go through the wings, the um, talons, I guess the engine block. Uh, the other downside of this figure that I found on my copy is that this version of uh, this Power Master doesn't like to tab on here very securely. The other one is fine, but this one, it tends to, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I can't imagine that I am. You just have to tab it in. But sometimes it just doesn't want to stay in and sometimes it will tab in just fine. And I don't know if it's like an angle thing or a tolerance thing, but like you can see right now, he doesn't want to stay in. And there's nothing, like, difficult about it. Like, you're just supposed to tab it in, but this one does not want to stay in half the time. More than half the time, honestly. And I don't know what's going on with this one. I don't know if the tab's too loose, but like I said, sometimes it works just fine. There's nothing that should really be preventing it from working. It's just that it doesn't want to lock into place. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with this one. Uh, I'll try again later, but here's the other Power Master very quickly. And he, his, his tab's in just fine. Actually, this the other one's not working at all today, but it was working um, before. Oh, was I putting him upside down? No, no, it's supposed to be this way. Yeah, so this one works fine. He's very easy to transform. He's a nice little guy. You just pull out on the tabs on the legs. Rotate it around at the hips. He has like a ball pegged hips. Just rotate that around. Straighten out the legs and uncurl the oops, the ball pegged ankles. And you just want to get those straightened out. And then you have the arms that are on the back, again, on ball pegs that just rotate forward. And this is a, a fun little Power Master guy. Again, he has a lot of nice little details. Sorry, it's focusing on the back. Um, but he does also have... Paint a painted face, the mask, his eyes. Um, I don't know if his the area around his eyes are plastic in that blue color. I think it is. But he does have painted eyes, and they're so small. I don't even know how you paint that accurately, that small. All right, so that's the crew here. Let's try to get these all situated in some way. You can also have him without his... Um, his Power Master's in, obviously. It looks a little weird. Stamp paint, I don't even know what's, I don't even know what that is. You can separate the big missile into a handled one, handled gun. And then this one's actually shoulder mounted. So, let's see. You wanna come up around his shoulder here, you just slot it in and then push it outwards. And that locks into place, it's keyed. And then the other one uses a traditional hand and tab. Hey, Ridiculous, how's it going? Hey, Robot Show Tunes, Anthony Brown Jr. This actually has two sets of tabs, as you can see. One that goes into the back of the hand and one that goes into the palm. So it kind of combines some of the tech that 
usually one company does one or the other. Um, but there you go. I'm going to try this one again. I don't know why this isn't working. Like, it, it should be just fine. Oh. Oh, you know what it might be? Oh, I know what it is. So, oh, I just realized. So, if you fold this all the way closed, you'll see that these wing nubs actually extend past this yellow block. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm noticing that. But if you pull these out just a little bit so they're, like, straight, maybe that's why. I think that's why, because when I push this in now... Oh, yeah, that's definitely it. Oh. Let me check if the instructions say that. Well, the instructions don't show anything about that, but uh, I think that's I think that's the trick. Just make sure that these wings are kind of straight up, straight back, uh, forward and back like this, like parallel, and not angled out like this. Because once you angle out like this, you you don't get enough depth in this tab. Ah, yes, figured it out. Hey, Thomas, how's it going? Hey, perverse sound waves. All right, so let's go into just a quick 360 of this guy before we get started. And he does look really nice. I love, I've always loved Double Dealer's colors. As a character, um, I think he's also kind of interesting because he is like a double agent, kind of like punch, counter punch, depending on like the mythos you, you, you watch. But I think in robot mode, um, and I forget which other mode, he is an Autobot. And then in one of the other modes, he's like a Decepticon. I don't remember. I'm not a I, I have I'm not a huge fan of the Japanese series. We actually talked about that in the chatter day uh, last week, last Saturday. It was about the G1 show. And we talked about the US show versus the Japanese show. And obviously we're heavily US viewers here, so most of the folks voted for the US show. But some of the Japanese show is really good. So I do recommend it. But again, Double Dealer was never a really interesting character to me. But this design looks really nice. Um, I do recommend using one of the, the Power Masters to fill in his chest. Otherwise, he has a really big gaping indent in his chest. Uh, let's do a quick comparison with his mold mate. Uh, so I had a hard time finding where I put this guy, actually. And then I realized, I, for some reason, when I was redoing my shelves, I put him in my, my one-piece display, which makes no sense whatsoever. So you can see these are the same characters. A lot of the molding on the forearms, the hands, the thighs, the, the legs. Basically, the lower section itself is all the same. Um, most of the changes have happened in the shoulders with the le wheels here, the chest area, um, and then the wings, obviously. The wings being a really big difference. Um, with this transformation, it is a, a bit easier and less frustrating because one of the things I hated about this one was the clearance issue with the heads and the horn having to go through this little hole there. I couldn't figure out how to do that smoothly. But that is what he looks like with his mold mate. Um, let's bring him, bring out just a, a couple of other characters. So here he is next to the Mass Migrations Optus Pexis, their Optus Prime. Here he's next to an MP um, Prime, just to give you an idea of how large he is. Um, what else can we do? Just because I have him, the DX9, so you can get a mini bot. But yeah, he's a, he's a pretty big size. All right, let's get these guys cleaned up. And then we'll go into articulation and then transformation. All right, so Springer, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see the $1.99, so no Springer comparison for you, Anthony. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy's weapons out of his way just so I can show off his articulation a bit more. And again, they did a lot of nice paintwork on this guy in the silver, the yellow, um, the red here, the metallic kind of purplish light blue. So they did a really good job. He does have die cast. Again, most of the Mass My Creations characters don't have die cast, but all of this claw area is, um, I think this heel... You know, some parts, portions of, yeah, this whole, like, block here is die cast. Uh, so he has more die cast than, than most other figures. 
<laughs> I think about what you were saying. So, I, okay, I'll get Springer out at the end of the review. All right, let's go ahead and get into articulation. Um, first and foremost, you might have seen, like, this neck panel and everything like that. It still just doesn't tap in anywhere. I don't know why they designed it like this. I really don't like that. His uh, head is on a ball peg, so he does get all that rotation around. He can look up almost all the way, which is good for a flying bot. Uh, he can look down a tiny bit for a bigger bot, which is good. His shoulders are nicely ratcheted. You can hear that. They can come all the way out and up, like so. Um, he does have a bicep swivel. He does have, I believe, double-jointed elbows. Yeah, he has one joint up here and then a lower joint there, which gives you, I don't know, 135 degrees. Uh, show with any other Power Master. What other Power Master do I have? Um, I'll take a look. I th oh, I, I have him, I have Overlord, so I'll try that, or I can show you with some Headmasters. If you have any other any specific ones that I may or may not have, let me know. Uh, the hands are the same. He has a wrist swivel here. His thumb is on a ball peg that can come down to the side. He has a pinned thumb joint here. Each of the four fingers is, exa is exactly the same in terms of articulation, uh, even in mold, I think. So there are three pin joints here. So they one have the, at the base of the hand and then two more for each finger, which is great. No spread, though. Um, I, I like some of their newer designs that allow for the spread, but this one does not have that. Let's see, coming to the waist, he does have 360 at the waist. It's just a friction rotation. Uh, he does have an ab crunch. Which is which is uh, kind of ratcheted, so it does have it does lock into various. You can see that there. I think one, two, two different joints, and then obviously straight. He has hip skirts. Uh, let's see here, going out to the side, to the front, and to the back. You can see the ratchets here. So, going out to the side ratchets, very secure. Very nice. Oh, sorry, this came undone when I was articulating it. Forward, back, all very solid. Rotated around at the thigh, lower knee joint, upper knee joint. Um, using both in combination don't give you actually much more than just using one. But you do have it, have them if you want to use it for certain poses. The kneecaps do move a little bit. Um, that's really for transformation, though. Let's see here. Coming to the foot, he has an ankle rocker. He can articulate his toe up or down. His heel on the back. Ugh, this guy's a little heavy, so I'm trying. You can go down. It doesn't go up. Um, but this whole foot I can also untap if you want to use this huge thing. It's for transformation, but also it's tight enough where you can use it for articulation. So you can see it's pretty solid. He has a little flap here as well to get out of the way for some of the heel articulation. Uh, let's see. Going to the wings. We already talked about this black base that can rotate around itself. Um, and, and it's on a hinge, so you can open the wings. Not all the way backwards, but you can get it about this far. And then the wings where we attached them have two screw points. So there's one here and then one here. You can see there's a little uh, peg hole there. There's a peg here so that if you want to kind of just lock them into place, secure them like that, you can do so. There is three different feathers. And uh, I like the little attention to detail. They put a little notch here so that they sit flush. Sometimes when you have wings that have spread out like that, um, when you close them up, they like squish up not parallel so it's a small detail and then oh uh, you can actually extend and contract the wings so you can see this one is extended versus contracted so a little bit of articulation there and i think that's it for the wings and the and the wheels rotate i don't know if you count that as articulation but i think i covered all the articulation in his robot mode all right, so we're going to get straight into transformation because I, I, I am on a tight schedule here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into the tank mode first because it makes more sense. And then we'll go into, um, uh, into his uh, bird mode. 
So we'll just start at the lower body. The lower body's easy. You wanna, this little piece here, you wanna push up. This little piece, you wanna push up. You wanna untab at this joint that we showed before as part of articulation. Fold this up, fold this up, and then this tab now goes into the main foot. This will rotate closed like that. We're gonna open up here. We're gonna use the lower knee joint to get it rotated all the way down and in. Close that up, and then you wanna fold up the kneecap here. Same thing on the other side, again, pretty simple. So we wanna untab here. Make sure that this, again, this little, like, I don't know, like plate, almost looks like a stick of storage plate. So that goes right into that notch, fold this up. Make sure that tabs in, fold up the heel, come around to the back, open up the calf, rotate this in, rotate this closed, flip this down, and then there's a big tab that holds both the legs together. So like that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just straighten out the arms, get the fists curled up like so. Uh, one thing to note is you want to make sure that you're transforming the, the claws on the back, right? You want to make sure these are as compact and into the form as possible so this is level. Otherwise, this next portion here, when we transform it, is not going to work out correctly. Uh, you're going to want to fold this out. You want to flip this at the, the hinge here and then flip this back into the head. I mean, into the body, like so. All right, and then we're just gonna start transforming this portion. So we're gonna undo what we had done before. So we wanna straighten out and extend that. And then we're going to untab this, come all the way around, tab this in there. We're gonna get that little peg in as we saw before. And then we're just gonna close on this black flap. So once we close this, you'll see there's a tab here that goes into the back of the shoulder, and then this tab will go into the leg here, and then there's two tabs on the forearm that correspond to two of the feathers there. So we just wanna close that up, and just try to get these all tabbed in. That, that, that one here. And then these are less important, uh, a little bit harder to see how they work, but again, you just wanna get the forearm straight and again, if you don't transform the forearms right, like if these claws are, are sticking out too much, um, which is easy to do, you just wanna make sure you compact them, uh, you won't get the arm in the right position to allow that to um, tab in correctly. So just be mindful of that. So same thing on this side, we wanna get the wing fully extended here. We wanna untab this. If it's not fully extended, you're not gonna be able to tab this in. It's not gonna be the right position. Rotate this upper joint until it pegs in here. And with that, we're just gonna close up the black flap. Obviously this black flap should be, the top of it should be parallel to the ground. And again, we have a tab here, a tab here, a tab that goes into the foot, and then these tabs here. So push that one in, push that one in, and then that's basically it. So we, oops, sorry, this tab came undone. That's basically it. We just have to deal with the, the missile now. Uh, this little piece here, uh, depending on how you transform it, this little uh, slot should be out. Sorry, I didn't show it before, but if it wasn't, you can rotate it out. Mine was already out, so um, if you don't see this, you have to open up the, the neck a bit and then you can rotate this in or out, like so, just to show you how that works. But I think, it, at least mine came out with that already like that. So, sorry for the little detour, I wanted to make sure I covered that, otherwise you're not gonna be able to connect it. So, to transform the guns, you just fold this up, fold this up, and then you slot this in right there, and then you use this tab to tab in right there. I think, yeah, it's this one. Um, I do think this tab should be a little bit longer. And the way it, it, it works, because it's so heavy, front heavy, it does um, um, angle down a bit. 
So I think you might be able to use the other ones. They show it as this one is the official one, but you might be able to use some of the other ones. This one's a little too low, but this one you can use it. And then the reason why I mentioned that you can use the other tabs is that if you separate this, you can actually still make use of make use of this uh, this one here and you can actually still slot it into the back here and have kind of a little vertical missile launch and then you can still have this one tabbed here as well I actually think this looks kind of cool too this is I don't think this is canon to any of the instances but th there he is in his tank mode here, let me peg that in. Again, I wish this they had done a better job with this. Um, you can use the handle of the gun to give it some angles. So you can do it like this to make it not droop as much or go vertical or present it at an angle. But yeah, looks quite good. Uh, the downside of this figure is that because it is a retool, there's actually no way to use these guys or peg them in because... The original toy, like you would use one um, to help with the gimmick where it would help allow you to transform the figure into one mode, one alt mode, and the other one would transform into, help you transform into the other one, uh, the vehicle mode or whatever. But they do not have that. You can't even place them in here uh, because, well, you might be able to place this guy in. No, actually, I think I tested it. I think he's a little too um, thick. Not, not trying to body shame him. I think he's a little too thick, though, when he pegs into the chest so that it doesn't actually sit on the ground. So let, let me just let me just fact check myself. Yeah, see, it, it just it sits too far. Oops. Why isn't this pegging in? Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it sits too far down, so you cannot use the Power Masters in their in the alt mode here. So that's a bummer. Pretty disappointing that they weren't able to figure that out. I did actually confirm with them that's the case as well. Uh, the wheels are um, the wheels too early. It's almost noon. The real wheels are plastic. Uh, I don't know why this one's getting. Oh, his fist, his fingers getting in the way. I didn't, cur I didn't curl them up properly. There we go. So yeah, they all roll. He does roll. Uh, in terms of size, he is pretty huge. You can see he's like two streaks wide and then longer than a streak. And then probably at least two streaks tall. So... Oh, I should probably do some waiting as well. Sorry, I'm, a, I'm in a bit of a rush because I got to pick up my kids from tutoring by noon. So I... I I'm trying to get this done, and he is a triple changer, so. Uh, he is, without his weapon and the Power Masters, he is 25.3 ounces, which is 718 grams. So, pretty hefty fellow here. All right, so let's get into the bird mode. So the first thing we'll do is basically just undo the wings. So we'll untab here, untab here, untab these feathers. And then you want to fold this back up and around, like so. Same thing on this side, so undo the tab here, undo the tab on the feathers, back, and then this section. We're going to fold this up, like so. And we'll just leave them in this position for now. The lower, the lower section we're going to keep exactly as is. And we just have to transform the arms, essentially. The arms and the head, essentially. So with arms, we're going to open up the forearm. We're going to push out the bird legs. Again, which are mostly die cast. I think all, I think all the purple part is die cast, or at least most of it. Curl in the fist. Close up the panel here. Rotate 180 at the bicep. And then just get this. These are super tight. Just get these around like so. And you can use these as ankle joints as needed. Um, ideally, you want to have it bent kind of like this. Sorry, I keep pressing this button here. So uh, this mechanism 
is the same as with Desaurus. You want to open up the armpit here so you can get access to this button. You press that, and that will allow, unlock this section here. And then before you rotate it all the way down, you do want to extend on this base here. You need to telescope it out just a little bit, it's a couple millimeters. You want to rotate this down. Before we tab this in, try to get this piece here, this little weird thing. If you guys watched uh, my previous video or have this figure, you know what this is. You want to tab the arm piece in, and this is what locks it. So you want to rotate it so that the fatter side rotates up and lines vertically up and down. Uh, this is a little annoying, and if yours is really tight, you can also use the screwdriver to um, loosen it a bit. Uh, uh, this is good enough. It's fine. Same thing on this side here. Open up the panel. Push this panel out. Get this closed. Rotate at the bicep. Get these claws, talons, whatever you want to call them. Chicken feet. My wife used to love eating chicken feet, apparently, when she was a true Korean. Now she's like, nah, not, not so much anymore. I'm like, what happened to you? Open up the arm, press this button to release. Again, this will rotate down. You do want to extend. Once again, telescope this out a bit. These two tabs will go into the legs. And then use this little locking tab. Ow. I find this tab to be really annoying, to be perfectly honest. Just not because it, it doesn't work, it's just that to get it perfectly aligned, this little tab is just so annoying. But I'm gonna leave it like that, that's good enough. Oh man, I, I lied. It was not good enough apparently, because this one came undone. Ah, oh, see, well, it's hard to get because there is there is a little notch there that's supposed to keep it vertical, but because you have to apply so much pressure... Here, I'm, I'm going to loosen this just a little bit. Um, because you have to apply so much pressure, it sometimes blows right past that little notch. There we go. Yeah. So, do what I did. Maybe just give it a quarter turn here to loosen this. Get that in. Get that locked into place. There we go. That's more frustrating than it needs to be. But there we have his lower portion done. And then all we need to do here... Tell him to do a trade-in and get another real Korean. <laughs> We're going to open up the, the head panel. We, we just need to do this to get access to this. Um, this whole neck assembly for the bird is on a sliding joint. So you want to pull this forward. You can see how it came up like that. Pull this forward. You're going to open up the collar here. You're going to pop that collar. You want to get the head out. And the instructions, for some reason, say to rotate the head in. I, I don't think you're supposed to do that. You have more clearance if you keep it like this. So go ahead and get the head out. Close this up. Flip that in. And then these two pegs will peg in there. And then we'll have... Um, Nimbus in his bird mode. You can angle out the wings again as you'd like. Spread out the feathers. Uh, there are some remnants of the original Desaurus because if you remember he had like bird arms here. This guy does not have bird arms. Uh, and then, but you can still untab this section here that's on ball pegs, but these just like fall out. <laughs> so don't do that. Just leave them in. I don't know why they didn't do another design where it just stayed in. But there we go. And you can actually still use the Power Masters in this mode. Uh, just make sure that you have them in the right position. Like that. And again, the secret to this one is keep these parallel. These wings parallel. Do not squish them all the way down or you'll not get enough clearance. We just figured that out live in this review. So thank you. You guys inspired me to try again, try, try again. So both of those work just fine. Um, in this mode, you can, once again, uh, use the tab, but you want to use this crotch piece here. Well, you might want to get the Power Master out for this. But you can use this crotch piece 
Is it this tab? Oh, it might be this tab. Sorry. Yeah, it's this tab. Yeah, so you get this one to get him dive bombing this down and dropping this huge missile. As before, if you want, you can still make use of this shoulder mount and have this one up here. I don't think this can mount to this one. Can it? Oh, it still can. So yeah, you can do this too. All right, so let's go through articulation. We're not going to go through the wings again because we already did that. Um, well, I guess again, I can show you. It does, you can extend and contract this if you want. We won't go into the individual articulating pieces, but the unique articulation burn mode is his neck, which does swivel there. He has a hinge here that we use for transformation. He does have a ball peg at the end of that hinge. His mouth does open. And then the legs are the arms, so you get the same articulation. The ratchet joints here. The bicep swivel becomes like a thigh swivel. He has the double jointed knees, uh, elbows that become like the knees, and then you have these extra pieces down here. So he has the ankle joint here, as well as here on that black piece. And then his claws can open and close, they can spread, and the heel can go like that. Uh, what time is it? I, I hope I'm not too, too... Okay, all right. I got I to gotta speed run through the rest of this. So um, that's really it for his bird mode. It does look quite nice. He does look kind of like a turkey vulture. I don't even know what his alt mode is supposed to be, actually, to be perfectly honest. I think it's a vulture just based off of the shape of his, his head. But that's what he looks like here. Um, I think we covered all the articulation and the accessibility stuff. Uh, not accessibility, the accessory stuff. Someone called social services. I'm going to pick them up in time. We just have to speed run back. All right, so let's speed run back into his... Um, his uh, tank mode, so we'll just flip this up, open the neck, and again, they, the instructions say rotate this around. I don't think this is right. Go like that. You do want to push it in so that you can get this collar closed. Slide back on this section here. Fold this back up. Goes underneath that collar. We're going to go ahead and come down to the legs, unlock them with that annoying tab. Rotate that up. Again, before we do that, before we lock it in here, we want to collapse it on that telescoping joint. And then it will basically... I don't even know how this locking me me mechanism works, to be honest. This little mushroom peg, you slide it next to it, and then it locks into place. I just don't know how that works. Then we just deal with the hands. Rotate them at the bicep. Open up this panel. Close up these bird pieces. Fold out the fist. And again, I'm going to show you that you need to make sure that when you close this up, you can't have them, the arm like this. You need to have this pushed and push at this joint here to get it rocked into place. And this basically should sit almost parallel. Not quite parallel, but you need to have it compacted like this. All right. Get this rotated down and just ready in the ready position. Same thing on this side. Open this up. Rotate it. Telescope or collapse that piece there, lock that into place, rotate at the bicep, open up the fist, push this through, get these dino claws or turkey vulture claws, collapsed in like that, close this up. So again, try to get this as compact as possible. All right, coming to the wings. We want to untab them, get them all the way out. And again, make sure that these are fully extended. Otherwise, this tab will not line up. We want to rotate this down. Like so, until this small peg goes into the purple side. Make sure this black piece is basically vert uh, parallel to the ground. And we're just going to close, close this flap at the black hinge here. And then get all the tabs in. So the tab up here, tab on the side, this tab going into the foot, and then the tabs that go into the forearms. Just make sure that. See, I think I think I may not have collapsed this one in all the way because now it's not tabbing in. Uh, let's try. No, that's right. I had it right. There we go. 
That's one side done. Same thing on the other side here. Open up the wings. Tab that into place. Rotate this all the way around on this top purple hinge here until this aligns correctly. Fold these up. Fold the flap down at the black hinge. Tab, 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 and then two tabs here. With that, we have them in tank mode. Again, you can use these weapons. We're not going to show that off. <laughs> you have to say abort here. This is sufficient. No, it's okay. They'll, they'll, they'll be okay. If they have to wait on the street for a little bit, they'll, they'll be fine. All right, and then going into robot mode, we want to untab this, curl this back up on both sides. Uh, luckily, tutoring is only like a, a two-minute, uh, three-minute drive, so it's not like I'm going far. And I still owe some comparisons. All right, so let's see. And then the transformation back to robot mode is super quick, so we're just going to pull the head out, flip this panel. All right. We're going to split the leg, get these kneecaps up, open up these panels here, Oh, I didn't do any comparisons in bird mode. I even had my Megatron, Transmittal 2 Megatron ready. But clearly I'm trying to focus on my kids for once. Doesn't often happen, but... All right, so we're going to pull forward on this section here to untab it. And then go down like that. That's going to tab closed. And that leg is done. Same thing on this side. Pull forward. Get the heel out. Get the toe down. We just need to pull this like so. And there we go. We have Nimbus back in his robot mode. All safe and secure. Uh, we've already gone through the transformation of these guys. You just fold the legs up, fold the arms back. Tad in here. Or once again, keep the wings parallel. And you can use this one like that. We'll get the blaster in place. And then we'll do final thoughts. My final thoughts on this guy are that he's a cool re retool. I like what they did. The transformation is uh, more enjoyable, I think, and fun than uh, Desaurus, even there are, though there are some other parts, because there are some other parts to it. Um, and I think all three modes look pretty good. It doesn't look accurate as far as robot mode because I think the Power Master is supposed to go more towards the belly. So I think the Fans Hobby 1 probably is a more accurate slash superior double dealer if you're a really big double dealer fan. Uh, but this is a really cool one. I guess it's more in the style of IDW. Um, so it really depends on your, your desire or what you're collecting. The downside of this are, uh, as I mentioned, some of the things with the um, inaccuracies there. The wings with the screws, I guess it's nice that you can tighten them up, but I wish it was a bit better. The neck panel, which they didn't approve at all, it still just kind of flops around here, which is annoying. Um, but I think that's it. So a pretty fun retool. Um, I would recommend him only if you're a Double Dealer fan and you really need him in your collection. I don't know that anybody who already has Death Source would really find this one um, a necessary addition to your collection but again it depends on your love for the character um like i said the transformation is fun though so i like how, how they managed to do that really all with just the wings so the most of the the wings just become like the shell former for this guy all right so let me go ahead and get these comparisons i'll get springer and then get some kind of power master All right, here's Springer. Oh, no. And then... Uh, here we go. Another Mastermind Creations, and here's the Make Toys Headmaster for you. That way you can kind of... Sorry, let me... Let me try to organize this so you can actually see them. 
kind of in relation to one another. All right, we'll so we'll have to switch swap him swap him out. All right, let's see. Uh, let me make sure I give thanks to the folks who donated. Uh, how can I look at that fan funding? So thanks to Anthony Brown Jr. and TM Reviews, I got the Springer as well as the Power Master Comparisons. <laughs> you don't? I don't know why he keeps putting Springer back. Well, at some points, I, w I want him to not ask me about that. Adrian, by any chance, do you have either Six Shot G Creations or MMC? Isn't it, TM? Isn't this a Power Master? I don't know if I have anyone else that fits that bill besides these two. Mm. All right, Adrian, here you go really quickly. Just because you asked nicely, and I do have the G Creations one, so. Yeah, that's a Shirakuro, what, is, what does he say? Five dollars to abandon your kids. I would take, I would do that for free if I really could and not get, you know, reported to the police or something like that. But I think that's it, I got, I got like five minutes to spare. Yeah, see, five minutes to spare. I wish I could abandon them because I'm actually going to Chicago today for the weekend and uh, I'd rather have, I'd rather have a, a trip without them than with them. But there you go. Uh, let me, let me say, let me check real quick. Uh, were there any other questions, TM, that I missed? So, um, this guy is not an exclusive. He is a mass release, so you guys should be able to pick him up at your favorite re favorite retailer. Um, he is quite expensive. That's the only other downside of this guy. He is quite big. Um, I know he's going for like, um, I want to say uh, 190 or something like that. Who's Paul Pake? Though? Paul Pake is my cousin. He's my older cousin. He's my oldest cousin, actually. He's old. He's like 50. That's old. <laughs> uh oh man i got another donation oh man oh and i did i did ask the question is is double dealer double the, your pleasure double your fun and for you old people like me um that that's a, a double mint gum reference he is kind of minty in some areas uh professor soundways ft galvatron oh you suck now you're just trying to make me be a bad dad hold on No, 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 no. Okay, all right. FT Galvatron. All right. <sighs> Complain about being getting money being nice. Yeah, I know. All right, all right. So I think I got it. Yeah, <laughs> he's like 50. I'm right around the corner from 50. Yeah, you're old too. You and TM are older than me. So no matter what, you guys will be relatively old. So yeah, uh, again, I do, I do think this figure overall is a really good retool. I was not expecting them to have a retool of Death Source really into anything. So to find one that actually works as well as this is nice. Um, I do think he's too expensive though. Uh, I think he's going to be very niche. But if you're a, a big Double Dealer fan, there's not that many options out there to expand your Double Dealer shelf. So this might be it. But for $180, $190, it's a lot to ask. You might have uh, better luck at the Chinese retailers um, as far as pricing goes. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, everyone. Uh, thanks for everyone who donated. Thanks for those of you who are watching and enjoying the Saturday morning review. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my kids and feed them. Probably some like sandwiches I found in the trash can or, or something like that. Something cheap, something easy, less effort for me. <laughs> but in any case, please do not report me, YouTube, to Child Protective Services. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Niche? Oh, yeah, niche, niche. Yeah, you, whatever you... Hey, I'm not fancy, okay? I'm not fancy, Tetra Nova. Uh, same price overseas? Ooh, that... that 
It's 200 with Show Z. So yeah, I guess in this case, just order from Toy Dojo. Toy Dojo link in the description uh, below. And then as always, if you guys enjoyed the review, I always appreciate more than donations. I like, share, and subscribe. Let let people know that you're enjoying these live, live streams. Um, I always enjoy them. They're my favorite thing to, to do, uh, the interactions here. But in any case, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll talk again next time. Thanks a lot, all. Have a good one.